and making a living with drawing. It was one of my dreams. My parents wanted me to be an accountant. Right away, I realized that this is not for me. My sister gave, gave me this idea of a tattooing. One day, I just decided to change it all be before it's too late, and I left Korea. For the first year in New York, it was hard and struggling. I went to Craigslist and tried to find some class. Luckily, I found one post saying four days tattoo class. That's how I got into it. But of course, it took years of training to become a professional. I met June. I'm glad to say not on Craigslist. <laughs> when we moved to LA, instead of looking for another um, shop to work in, she said, why don't we why don't I have my own shop? When I was studying tattooing, so I was doing pretty much every kind of style. But at some point, I wanted to develop my own drawing style, and I found that I enjoy drawing like organic line. I also wanted to add some abstract touch, so I combined my illustrative design with colorful abstract watercolor effect. I try to convey some emotion. I want people to feel something and find the comfort out of it. My sister, who is two years younger than I am, unexpectedly passed away from a, a major heart attack. I hadn't really ever been super interested in tattoos. My sister had so many of them. I always joked that she had more than enough for all of us. But after she passed, I thought it would make a really beautiful tribute. I felt that on some level, I might be able to better understand what tattoos meant to her. My sister and I shared bubble baths as little girls. I would be bubble girl and she would be water girl because as a big sister, I had to sort of scoop all the bubbles and convince her that it was really cool to be water girl. Of course, I just wanted all the bubbles. So I wanted the bubbles as part of the tattoo as well and represent our childhood together. When I thought it all through and I presented it, and especially when June actually presented the design, it was just like, yeah, that's, okay, I get it. Like now I understand you know, the power of, of a tattoo. We started realizing it was probably coming when other tattoo shops started closing. It wasn't until the LA mayor announced he was enforcing the safer at home order, stay at home order. that we uh, officially closed our doors. You know, the loans that are out there aren't enough to cover our overhead for too long. And we've, even though we've applied for the loans, we haven't gotten them. I'm worried that um, we might end up being one of the last biz types of businesses allowed open and that there won't be the financial relief needed to support us during that time. There are a lot of things in our world that can be done online and done remotely, but a tattoo shop and especially one like ours where we know our customers so well, it's kind of like a shining counter example to the belief that everything can be done just as well remotely. You only have to spend an afternoon in our shop to see like why physical connection and physical presence is so important. I think for many people, the process of thinking of the item, of corresponding with an artist, and then ultimately having that experience does provide some sort of emotional healing. And I imagine that during this period, there may be quite a few people who could use some healing. The excitement that I get, like making somebody feel healing and happy with my work is uh, one of my favorite things in the world. That is the part that I miss the most. I've been always positive and I believe it's gonna be better soon, yeah, staying hopeful.